Family Guy Back to the Multiverse surprised me. After suffering through the PlayStation 2 game, I couldn't help but fear what was in store for me on this game. You know what? Not perfect, but I actually like it a lot. Family Guy Multiverse of Madness is a third person shooter starring Stewie and Brian. The story revolves around Bertram from a different universe creating an army by jumping through a bunch of universes to kill Brian and Stewie and take over the world. The story itself is absolutely pointless and it's just an excuse eh, just an excuse to get the characters into a bunch of locations with weird scenarios. And this is where my first complaint comes in. For a game based on the multiverse, Family Guy Everything Everywhere All At Once just isn't that interesting. The gameplay itself is kind of a mixed bag. When you play as Stewie, running around feels clunky and honestly not a lot of fun. Brian on the other hand suits the gameplay style much more so I found myself playing as him for a majority of the game. I only switched back to Stewie when I really needed one of his weapons. And yes, Brian and Stewie both get their own little collection of weapons. Too bad these weapons are also nothing special. Brian gets realistic weapons like a pistol, a sniper, a shotgun, and Stewie gets more sci-fi based weapons like a, a ray gun, uh, a sci-fi looking rocket launcher. Honestly, even when it comes to the weapons, I still preferred Brian's average ass weapons. Pistol is great for getting headshots, the sniper is perfect for long distance shootouts, and the shotgun is perfect for bosses and up close enemies. On top of these regular weapons, the real creativity comes in the form of special weapons. You can buy them in the in-game shop or find them scattered around the levels, and these make the action way more chaotic while also being fun to use. There's a golden chicken egg that releases the giant chicken to help beat people up for you, a little Joe figure that turns into the real Joe who shoots down waves of enemies, and a ton more. I just wish all the weapons had this much fun and creativity thrown into them instead of just coming down to a couple of simple weapons. From the shop that I mentioned, you can also buy costumes, buy new weapons, buy special weapons, health consumables, and level up both Brian and Stewie, which is good. I like games where I can level up and choose stats or attributes even if it's as basic as it is in this game. You buy these items using money you earn by killing enemies and finding the money scattered around the levels. And how are the levels? Well, these are a mixed bag too. The first level is a universe where frat boys control everything and I like it as a tutorial level. There's a bunch of main characters running around quoting lines from the show, so if you're a fan of the show, then this should be more than enough for you. The second level is a universe ruled by the Amish, and this level is a lot of fun. It's just more about get to the end of the level, kill anyone that stands in your way. The third level is a universe where everyone on earth is handicapped, and while at first this level is a standout with jokes that are actually really funny. Stupid dog. Is that part of your stand-up act? <laughs> hey, anybody, help! For the love of God, help! <laughs> Should we just pretend we're not hearing this? Hearing what? I like you today. The second half of the level falls apart as you run around this hospital just finding levers to pull open the door that takes you to the next area of the hospital over and over and over again until there's this like, really easy boss fight at the end. It's kind of disappointing considering how strong it starts and how funny it is. The fourth level is a universe where everyone's evil side lives and this level is just a long boss fight. It's alright, no nothing good, nothing bad. The fifth level is weird because it's never specified what the universe is. Brian and Stewie need Mayor West from the evil universe's help but before he can help them he sends us to assassinate Mayor Cheeseburger which is how we end up here and this is another standout level the problem is the level is technically meant to be a stealth level and i did try to play through it using stealth but these controls just don't work for that so i got caught and i decided to use force which sucks because if they put a little bit more work to add some stealth mechanics this could have easily been a lot of fun and it, it would have been a different level but for now it's it's just fine the next level is a universe where everyone is a pirate and this one kind of sucks you get captured by pirates and you get your weapons taken away so you need to use melee attacks to escape and the melee combat in this game fucking sucks you match one button over and over again and take a bunch of hits with no way to block and it doesn't feel good at all and then there's a boss fight against pirate peter and this one is simple too this next one is a universe where people order things online so santa had to close his workshop and now makes whatever the highest bidder makes okay that's different it's really fucking boring but it's different and this level is fine too it's nothing special but it's also kind of where i started to feel the boredom sink in since the gameplay just wasn't doing anything different at all the next level is a universe where a bunch of space chickens took over the earth again more of the same although i do really like this part where the chickens have two humans fighting like chickens that that was funny uh there's this chicken fight where we play as peter we did that in the last game too it, it sucked in that game it sucks in this one combos are non-existent it's so redundant 
why does family guy think these chicken fights are funny and bam the final battle this one covers a huge part of the town including the griffin household and surrounding areas and this is a really good level a great way to end the game it's mostly more of the same but the concept of fighting a t-rex while running around and having all these familiar characters yell and 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 run for their lives it's just fun and dinosaurs are fucking cool dude then bertram is killed the family reunites and is happy and we get a pretty funny line to end the game yeah but couldn't other Bertrams just keep coming back from different universes? Well, I mean, they could, but I, I think we'll just have to wait and see how much money this makes. Ah, so we may not be hearing from Bertram again. You can also play through the story mode in two players, and there's a deathmatch and a multiverse of madness mode where you can choose a bunch of characters with weapons that you've unlocked by finding the collectibles scattered around the levels. It's, it's pretty fun. If anything, it's, it's 100% better than the PS2 game. And maybe in another universe, we got the perfect family guy game, like, uh... Like a Family Guy hit and run. That would that would have been cool. That that the, that online game was pretty cool. I remember playing that and enjoying it, but it doesn't exist anymore. So enjoy this gameplay from YouTube. That yeah, that was that was cool. I mean, geez, maybe maybe in another universe, I just I knew how to end this video. Arg. 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 Arg.